not bad, not bad. So we set up the card items equal to an actual array instead of an empty one. Now let's set up two more components, the cart container JS and cart item JS. And just to showcase, so this is going to be the container where we'll have all of the items as well as the total and the clear cart functionality. Now eventually we'll add the model, but the idea won't change. If we click on clear cart, then of course we'll have empty cart. And then we also want to set up that cart item where again, we'll display all of this info. And yes, we'll practice on use selector again, where in the cart container, we not only want to get the cart items, we also want to get the total as well as the amount, because we'll use that amount to display some things conditionally. In this case, if the amount is less than one, then we'll display this. And then if there are some items in a card, then of course, there's going to be a different logic. And in the card item, we'll just pass in the ID as a key, as well as the properties of the item, and then we'll destructure it. Now when it comes to card item, for the most part, we'll get there our action creators, which of course, we'll set up a little bit later. So for now, we just want to worry about rendering the cart items on the screen. So let's get cracking where I want to go to components. And let's go here with cart container JS. And I also want to set up that cart item JS. Now when it comes to cart item, we'll work on that one in the next video for a moment. And as I said, it shouldn't be cart items it should be cart item one. And now let me fix this one as well, where I'm going to go with cart item. Now we want to import that in the cart container. So let's set up this component as well. So R A F C E. And let's right away import that cart item. So let's go here with cart item, then we want to navigate to the app JS. And we also want to get that cart container. So let's get that one. And I'll place it right after the container, meaning the nav bar, sorry. And we should see on the screen cart container. Awesome. Now what's next? Well, let's take a look at the readme, where we do have the cart item, we also want to get the use selector. And now from my application state, I want to get the entire cart. And I'll just the structure cart items, total, as well as the amount, like I said, the amount will use to display conditionally, empty cart. And again, I already showcased that. But let me show you one more time. This is what we want to set up if the cart is empty, and we'll control that with amount. Now, if there are some values in the cart, then this is what we want to return. We want to go with section header, iterate over cart items. And then also in the footer, we want to display the total with the clear cart button. So let's set this one up, where I'm going to go with import, then use selector from react redux. Let's right away access all of the items. So let's say here const we're looking for cart and then items total. Also, we want to get the amount and all of that is equal to use selector. Let's pass in the function and what we want to return. We want to go here with store or state, however you want to call it store and then cart. So we get all of those values right away. Let's set up that condition where I'll say amount is less than one. If that is the case, what we want to return, well, we want to go here with section. Then let's add a class name of cart. And let's set up some logic over here. Let's say here, header. And inside of the header, we'll have a heading to your bag. And then right after that, let's go with heading four, and we'll say empty cart. Now we do need to add here empty cart class. And let's add a text your cart is currently empty, or your bag is empty, let's save it. Now, since the amount is zero, this is exactly what we display. So in order to see the atoms, of course, we'll have to navigate back to the cart slice. And again, for the time being, we'll just hard code this, 
Don't worry. Eventually, we'll set up some action creators that control this logic. Essentially, we'll set up some reducers. And by default, Redux Toolkit is going to give us those action creators. So let's go back to the cart container. And right after this one, we want to set up another return. So as you saw, this one was if we have less than one. And now since we hard coded, we have four. So in here, we want to go with another return, another section, and we do want another the class. So class will be equal to cart. And then the same deal, we want to set up that header. So header over here. And inside of it, we're just going to go with heading to your bag, your bag, let's say that one. And yeah, as I said, no, this is wrong. So it should be class name. Then we want to iterate over the card items. So for time being, we just want to set up a div, then we want to grab those card items, we want to run the map. And this is the actual array, correct? And then for every item, we want to return that card item that we just set up. And we want to pass in the data. Now on a screen, we'll just see that text, whatever we have over there. So in here we have the card item. But eventually, yes, we'll access it and we'll correctly display it. So we're mapping over, I'll call this item. So now I'm talking about each and every object over there. Let's go with a return. Then let's set up a cart item. We do need to pass in the key since this is React. And I already know that there is a an ID property. Now, if you don't believe me, you can navigate over here and you'll clearly see that. So each and every item has that ID property. So let's say here dot ID. And then I want to use the spread operator dot 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 and then pass in rest of the properties. Let's save it. So since we have four items, we have four cart items on the screen. And then right after this one, right after this div, let's set up a footer. And this is where we'll display the cart total, as well as the clear button cart, which eventually will invoke the model and clear the cart. So I'm going to go with a horizontal line here. Then let's add a heading to with some data. So total span and set of this one, I want to set up a dollar sign. I'll say total. Yes, At the moment it is going to be zero. Don't worry about it. And as I know, I actually messed it up over here. It should be div with a class of cart total. My apologies. That's why the CSS is not correct. And after that, we want to go with that clear card button. So still within the footer, we want to go with button. Let's add a class right away. So BTN, clear BTN. And let's say clear card. Let's save this. Let's refresh so we don't have any errors. And this is what we should see on a screen. Where again, we used use selector to access our entire store. More specifically, we looked for cart, which represents that initial state. In the initial state, we have all these values. So we were able to the structure, and then we check for the amount. If it's less than one, we display the message. If we have some items in there, then we just iterate over them. And for every item, we return that card item. And then below that, we have total, which at the moment is zero, eventually, this will be dynamic, as well as the clear card button, which eventually will remove all the items from the card.